Okay, so here's a quick demonstration video of the CD player I'm working on. Um, I'm just going to be really brief here because this is probably not very interesting, but um, on the, yeah, well, there's the, there's the mini and there's the display and underneath all those cables are three IO expander ICs. Um, this is um, a small uh, digital amplifier <coughs> that's connected to the back via those cables there. Yes. And <coughs> here's my little power supply. It's very convenient because the, the CD player needs 12 volts and 5 volts. Uh, and uh, also the amplifier works on 12 volts too. So I can use the same power supply for everything. Well, <coughs> without further ado, do, further do, not do, um, let's play, play a song here. <laughs> yeah, play. Takes a while. You know, the CD has to spin up. Now I can't control the volume. <laughs> turn to the title page or what to call it. You can see there are 11 tracks on this CD and there's a total playing time of 58 minutes and 58 seconds. Um, of course I can also do the eject. Yep. And the CD comes out. Put it back in says no disc then again it must has to spin up oh on the title page also um, can of course do skip and all that type of thing now play again and it's supposed to be a little quicker because the, the disc was spin up so, skip skip next Give next. Previous. And again, previous. Pause. It says play, but it's really pause. And then stop. The remote control has got a little latency to it, but it's mostly because uh, the uh, the 24-pin uh, IDE interface with all those cables there is kind of slow. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, as I said, I, I can adjust the volume, but it doesn't really respond to it go low ah, doesn't doesn't change anything and I can also mute and I'm supposed to be able to unmute as well but there's something wrong here no I was pointing the remote control in a different direction muting Stop again. All right. Thank you very much.